So welcome to this second preview video. things that stops you from being successful is they don't know how to find the right target audience for their product. I've seen people struggle with this time and time again. So what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to dive into the million dollar blueprint strategy that we've used to create hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue on Facebook right now. This targeting system is by one of my good friends who has made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing online marketing and e-commerce. And what he's about to do right now is take you inside how to start a business in 30 days and show you his process that he has used to run up a bunch of money. So if you want to learn that process right now, stay tuned and check out this video. We're going to dive straight into Facebook advertising and also how to create an audience, what goes into an audience, what type of engagement ad you should run, whether engagement or traffic, whenever you're trying to initially gather up your ecosystem pertaining to your product, and then when to actually run a conversion ad. Because those are the most important three segments that you're going to run if you want to be a profitable business. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So as you see on my screen, what we're going to do is we're at the ads manager. And for this actual demonstration, we're going to do a dog product. I went on Amazon, found a couple products that I think would be some winners. And right now what I'm looking at is a clean house dog cat and brush grooming product. So what we want to do is we got the cat and dog brush and it's for shedding. So basically what we want to do is you're going to want to dive into your ads manager and then you're going to want to come over here to audience insights. Audience Insights is going to be a very, very powerful tool that you can use to trim down your audience, understand whether you're targeting the right audience, understanding if the audience that you're targeting is going to have great feedback as it relates to this particular product, right? So one thing that we want to think about when it comes to dog shedding and it comes to what type of audience that we want to go with, think about the type of dogs that are out there, right? You have a lot of dogs, however, not all dogs shed. So there'll be a lot of individuals who aren't necessarily gonna want to, you know, invest in this type of product. So for example, you might have a Pomeranian or you might have a mini poodle um, or you may even have a, a, a mini schnauzer, right? Those dogs particularly don't shed. So we wanna make sure that we exclude individuals in those niches. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna dive right into the type of audience that you should target. This is gonna be the secret sauce. So what you need to do is you need to get your pen, paper, and we're gonna get right into it. So when it comes down to how you wanna target, the most important thing is understanding, okay, where do people look? So you're going to go websites. You're going to go stores. You're going to look for, um, let's see, magazines. You're going to look for influencers. Right? So let's come over here to Audience Insights as we're building this thing out. And we're going to take advantage of our Audience Insights tool because it is extremely powerful. Right? So when you're thinking about purchase power and you're thinking about dog products, people have dogs pretty much all ages, right? So instead of doing 18, because nine times out of 10, if you're about 18, 19, 20, unless you're living on your own, nine times out of 10, your parents are probably gonna be buying the products and taking the baby up to the store, et cetera. So we're gonna start with an audience size of maybe 25 and up. That's what I feel safe with. What you wanna do is we're gonna look at the countries. Correct? Well, there's a big five countries that you're going to want to target if you want to have a successful ad campaign. You don't want to target a lot of countries because some countries aren't going to give you that much feedback. Um, they're not necessarily going to speak the language that's going to be in the ad copy, etc. So the big five countries are going to be United States, United Kingdom, Canada, 
Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. And as you see, once we've added these people, we actually have an audience size now without any specific demographic um, of 200 million to 250 million. Um, and that's a very, very, very large audience size. So we want to just dive right into it. So first, we're going to look for websites that are popular that may actually be in our interest section because the interest is where you're going to dive into to see if it's a potentially profitable target segment. So let's think of some dog websites, right? We can go Petco, right? Petco, let's see. So we got Petco, let's, let's just try it because, some, and, and I'm gonna dive into the different uh, aspects of the page likes and things like that, but let's go Petco. Petco local business, okay, 3 million to 3.5 million audience size. But just because Petco is an audience and it has an audience size does not mean that the people who actually relate and have an interest in Petco are just extremely, extremely, you know, dog, extreme dog lovers, if you would. So let's go over here to page likes, because this particularly is where you're actually going to get the meat of your information. So we go to Petco, and my rule of thumb is, and write this down, this is secret sauce, my rule of thumb is your top five categories and the top 10 different target segments like Petco, Pet, PetSmart, Chewy, et cetera, those, we want at least the top 10 to all be related to dog or all be related to pets, right? And that's the thing about Petco, they have all different type of um, pet information and things like that. So let's look at pet supplies, they got Petco, PetSmart, Chewy.com, Best Friends Animal Society, ASPCA, the Humane Society of the United States. That kind of gives me a little bit of uh, apprehension. Um, BarkBox and my cat. I love my dog. See, these are some good things. You got Crayola, Crayola Cover Girl. Um, so basically, that's just letting me kind of know that with Cover Girl being there, a lot of people that search Petco are going to probably be women. So if we come over here, yeah, 82%. Uh, women, 18% men. So as you can see, those are the kind of things that you want to look at. Um, you got Dollar General down here. And let's see what the uh, affinities are. So Petco, PetSmart, Chewy.com. So we can put the Petco website here because we do get our top 10. However, we're going to put an asterisk by it because to me, it's not that strong because I've seen categories to where everything here is related to the target audience that I'm looking for, and that's the meat, and that's what we're truly, truly, truly trying to find. So we see Chewy.com. Let's look at Chewy.com. Okay, so we got Chewy.com. We see this is the Facebook page, 1.2 million. Oh, look, dogs. 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 So let's see what we get when we put Chewy.com in here. Chewy.com. See here, we got Chewy.com, but you got Yankee Candle, Joss and Main, Pier One. See, this isn't a good audience because here's the thing. Like, let's let's break it down real fast, right? You have an interest of Chewy.com. Ultimately, what the algorithm in Facebook is gonna say is the people, everybody that's interested in Chewy.com, we want to target them because that's who you're saying that you want to find. Well, the people that are interested in Chewy.com, yeah, they may have a dog or two, but they're not dog lovers. They're not going to react to the ad when it's, scroll when it's coming down their timeline like an actual dog lover would because obviously their searching behavior isn't an implication of someone that loves pets, correct? Because you got Yankee Candle, Joss and Main, Pier One, Pottery Barn. And also, too, remember, you got to take these things with a grain of salt because... Um, these individuals may be dog lovers. However, you want it to be extremely hyper-focused, targeted as possible, right? So here we go. So I wouldn't do Chewy.com. That's one that I wouldn't do. But here, let's try ASPCA. That might be a good one. Let's see how many page likes they have. ASPCA, 1.7 million people. And people that like ASPCA, I'm almost certain, are going to be dog lovers.
homeowner pet rescue nationwide pet i love dogs awesome ocean daily pet stuff i heart cats craze animals etc i heart dogs see this is a real strong one look at the affinities so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to websites and go aspca because that's going to be one that's going to be very strong let's see here now let's just keep diving into these I love Paws e-commerce website. Okay, let's see what I love Paws has. They have a 1.2 million people like this page. Let's see if they have any ads running. No ads running, so that lets me know this is most likely some type of blog. Oh, that's how they're treating their page, and then they're driving your website. They're driving traffic to their website based on the type of dogs. You see what they're doing? This is this is unique. This is something that you want to look at. You see how they have the bulldog here. They have this type of dog here. So if you have this type of dog and it's scrolling down your timeline, you're going to react. You have this type of dog and it's scrolling down your timeline, you're going to react. Same here. So they have a very, very, very strategic way to approach marketing. So let's go over here and see if there's even... See? And that's one thing that you'll notice is that there's not even an I love pause interest in audience insights. So from that perspective, you, you'll kind of get the gist that just because you, they have a million likes on the page and a lot of people that view it, the truth of the matter is, is that if it's not there, it's just not there. You're going to run into that a lot and you'll see a brick wall and you'll hit it. But at the end of the day, everything is going to work out as it should. So let's go into it. Let's keep going. Let's do PetSmart. Mm, simple most, Relay Hero. See, these are some things, recipes for hev from heaven. See, I wouldn't target PetSmart because your, your ad campaign is going to get lost in translation. You don't want that to happen. You want, if the affinities are there, the page likes are there, what you'll notice is, is that almost everybody who's going to target is going to fall into that target audience. Almost everybody is going to love dogs, love pets, etc. that shed, right? So let's keep going here. Paul, oh my gosh, this might be cool. News and media website. Paul, oh my gosh, PMG. There we go. See, these dogs are some shedding dogs, right? So let's see what we got here. PMG, oh my gosh. See, Paul, my gosh, isn't there either. So here's one that I think we should try. Let's try Dog Mom. Dog Mom. Mm -hmm. So we don't have Dog Moms, but let's just put in dogs and let's see what type of page like categories we get. Dusty old thing, I love my dog, pet service, home and garden, see? And that's why, and you'll notice a lot of rookies, they'll just think, oh, they can go in here and type dog, uh, big dog, probably big dog, no, no big dog breed, but dog breed. They can type dog, dog food, and think, oh my goodness, I have a good target audience, I know what I'm doing. But let's look over here when we put all these at all in. Magazine, dusty old thing. Pet service, I love my dog, but broadcast media, madly odd. Housekeeping, secure America now. You see how just the basics isn't gonna cut it. You gotta really know how to dive into this stuff. So we wanna come over here. Let's go back to Petco because it was giving us a lot of good stuff here. Family pet. Is family pet one? Family pet. We don't want family pet hospital. Let's see if bark box. Bark box. Now let's look at the page. This is pet supplies, two million people. 
Yeah, these people love dog, dog valentines, human valentines. Look at this. This just lets you know, look, 11K views, 6.2 views, 6.2. Let's look what ads they got running. Get the limited edition Valentine's Day bark box. So they got some ads running. This is a pretty strong one. So let's see. We got bark box here. How does it look by itself? Bark box. Oh, Animal Rescue, Family Pet, I Love My Dog, Heartwarming, Chewy, Pet Smart, Petco, ASPCA, The Humane Society of America, Home Away. Let's see what we got. We got Bark, Bark Box, I Love My Dog, I Love Dogs. So we know this is a good one. And Bark Box is a pet service. So we can put this under stores. I love dogs. Here we go. Let's give it a look. You love your dog, Pet Supplies. I love dogs, Dizzy Turtle. I love dogs, Puppies Week, National Pet. See, this is a real good one. We got dogs going all the way down to the bottom. So we know this is a real rich, rich one. Okay. 1.1 million. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. This is the type of stuff you want to look for, right? So we got that. And this is I Love Dogs, right? I Love Dogs. And remember, Cat Shed too. So this is going to be a real nice one, and we're going to dive into it. I love paws.com. So we're looking and we have familypet.com, but we also see that there's not one, right? So we got to go back to BarkBox. Best Friends Animal Society. What do we have here? Best Friends Animal Society, 1.3 million people. Best Friends Animal Society. Let's see what we got. Home Again, Hendrix, I'm Against Animal Abuse, Nationwide Pet, Geek Feel. This isn't a good one. And the reason why I say that is because you got Geek Feel, Daily Smile, Ammo Mama, Relay Hero. This is something that I wouldn't dive into because even their third affinity isn't even related to dogs, right? So let's think of some. So another thing too, right? So we're looking for magazine influencers and stores. So let's just type in dog magazines into our search bar. Dogster. And here's the thing too. This is another nugget. Take your pencil out. Write this down. Um, one thing that you're going to want to think about is dog magazines, right? There's something that they call buyer's intent. If somebody's invested in a dog magazine and you're looking at magazines, what you want to think about is the fact that if there's a subscription that they pay for monthly, then they're invested into their animal. They love their animals. They love their dogs. So when you're thinking about this and you're approaching it, if somebody has already paying for a uh, Dogster magazine, right, and it's $10 a month, they already have buyers intent to purchase your products. This is why magazines are so powerful. So let's see if we have Dogsters over here. coming it's coming loading a little bit dogster magazine let's look bark magazine see four issues 18 bucks this is one of those so here we go we got dogster magazine modern dog look at all this dog stuff that you see how the the magazines are very rich rich in Buyer's intent. Look, let's look at Modern Dog Magazine. And then let's type that in here too. 
And the thing what we're looking for right now is to see if it has a subscription. One year subscription, that's perfect. Modern dog, and we have it here. 267,000 people, that's actually a great audience size. Modern dog. Mm hmm. Dog magazine, I love paws. Off leash canine. Modern dog's a good one. Okay, let's see. We got Bark Magazine. There we go, Bark Magazine. Look at all this do good dog stuff. What? Public figure, let's look at what these are. I bet you these public figures, Victoria Stilwell, Dr. Marty Becker, Norbit, I promise you, um, I'm willing to bet you guys right now that these are gonna be veterinarians. Um, Bark Magazine, The Whole Dog Journey, Off the Leash. This is some good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and put Bark Magazine here. Okay, Bark Magazine, Animal, well Animal Wellness Magazine. Let's see what we have with this one. Animal Wellness, 475 page likes. See a lot of dogs, a lot of cats. See what we have there. See if it's even an option. What is this, Animal Wellness. Magazine, boom, they got it. And you see how it's, we're kind of building it out and I haven't deleted them yet. So look, now that we have Animal Wellness, Bark Magazine, Modern Dog, look at how rich our page like categories are. Everything here is related to dogs, right? And that's the beauty of the secret sauce. That's how you dive into it. So we're looking here modern dog, but let's go back and see, before we put in Animal Wellness Magazine, right, we had the doctors. Let's look at Dr. Marty Beck and see what he does. And like we said, as we see, Marty, Marty Becker is a very big influencer, 766 page likes, and he is a veterinarian. It looks like he has dealing with dogs and cats, which is perfect. So we got Dr. Marty Becker, and we have them. Let's see what we got here. Dr. Marty Becker. Dr. Marty Becker is a good one. So let's come back over here. Let's take him back off and let's dive over here into Dr. Karen Becker, which is most likely his wife or maybe his daughter because she's pretty young, kind of hot, right? Um, let's look. How many? Oh, 1.6 million. Ah, ah, like like father, like daughter. Here we go. Dr. Karen Becker. So we have Dr. Karen Becker, Norbert. Let's see what Norbert is. Let's see who Norbert is. Maybe Norbert, Norbert dog. Oh, okay. Norbert's just a very popular dog. Let's look. Oh, 5.1 comments, 2.1 comments. Let's dive into these. Look at these comments. That's crazy. Shares, comments, let's look at some of these. It would be fantastic if he could understand how much he is loved. He is so adorable. Let's type it in. Let's see if we got Norbert here. We don't have Norbert. Oh, that's, that's unfair. Let's see what we have with Victoria Stilwell. Okay, see, like we said, you got Victoria Stilwell. She's another veterinarian, which is really good. And let's see if we have her here. Victoria Stilwell. Yes, we do. We can put her here. Victoria Stilwell. And look at all this good stuff here. Look at all this great stuff. The whole publishers, but the whole dog journey. Let's look. Look at this stuff, 564 likes, 2.1 thousand likes. See how they're running ads. They are running ads. And that's the thing, they're running ads on blogs. So if people are reading these and they're getting a lot of good feedback, that's because they're trying to get people to sign up for their blog. So let's put it in and see if we have that. The whole dog journey, journal.
See how we got some good stuff here? So let's look here. Society Pet Finder. Let's do Pet Finder. Pet Finder. Pet Finder website. There we go. See what we got. I'm against animal abuse, pet MD, Zillow, adopt a pet, no kill coalition. And I'm sure Zillow's there because people who are purchasing homes want to make sure, or renting homes want to make sure that the dog is allowed to be on the property. So that's probably why that's there. Um, pet Finder. Mm, let's see if we got, what is PetMD? I'm sure PetMD is very broad, but let's see if we still get a lot of dog stuff. No, we don't get any dog stuff. So let's put Dogster back in because we got some rich stuff to dive into from here. Personal blog, dog files, life with dogs. Let's see if they even have that before we just dive into it. Life with dogs. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Personal blogs. That's another thing that has a lot of buyers intended. People are spending their time, right? Time is money. If they're spending time reading blogs, then they have buyers intent to understand what's going on with their pets, what they need, et cetera. And some of these people might even be good influencers to reach out to and then drop your product on their page as opposed to spending two, three hundred dollars for an entire ad campaign end to end. Um Oh, look at the look at the dog. He looks like my old mini poodle. Um, so that was life with dogs. That was actually a good one. And you want to put websites like blogs can be web websites can be blogs too. So you don't want to necessarily tie this down and create a bunch of different buckets. The four buckets is good cool because those are going to be your targeting segments. Um, so we got I love dogs already. Dog files. Personal blog. Let's see what we got. We're diving into it. Let's see. We got 378,000 people. Well, you don't want to be recognized, so you go in dog Nito. Oh, they got some good stuff here. Um, let's see what happens when it's just them. Look, a lot of dog stuff. That's great. Dog files. Dog files. Mm, dog tube. Media news. Dog tube. Mm. Dog tube. Oh, we don't got that. The Doggington Post. See what this gives us. What is Hendrick and Company? Hendrick and Company. Oh, this is actually a decent website. See how we missed this one? Sometimes you just got to dive into everything. And, it, and that's the thing about this process. This process is a very long process. It's going to take you probably two, three, maybe four hours to get your target audiences all the way right because I've been doing this for a long time, so I know how, all the, how to dive into it quickly. But we're doing dogs, then we're going to go to cats, and then from there we're going to narrow the art, that we're going to narrow the ad set to target each three of the segments so that we can see, okay, which ad set performs the best. And then from there, we're going to run a conversion campaign on that one. So that's kind of the process. And sometimes this can be very time consuming, but if you do it right and you're not just typing in dog stuff and, oh, I'm against animal abuse and throwing it over here and adding it to this, like, cause some people will get lazy cause they just want to make money. It's not about the money. It's about making sure that you're targeting the right client. So some people will just come, put Doggington Post or Dr. Karen Becker, and then go, oh, Pet Network. Let's see if they got that. Pet Network. Oh, and then, oh, let's type in, I'm against animal abuse, and then throw them all over here on this side, and then they don't even have a good audience because they're just moving too fast. Pay attention. Slow down. Know what you're doing. We don't have an arm against animal abuse. 
Animal wellness, dog naturally. And that's the thing, I'm not gonna lie to you. I live and die by the magazines. I made a crap ton of money using them. They always pan out and they always take good care of you if you take good care of them. So you got the Dog Eats and Post, Dog Naturally Magazine. I like that one. And the reason why I like that one is because look at all the dog stuff. You got Crafty Fun, that's one thing, but everything else is pretty much dog. And that's perfect, that's what you need. So now let's dive into cats. I don't wanna do too, too, too long of a tutorial. Um, let's dive into cats now. And one thing you'll notice, the difference between cats, there are a lot of cat lovers and there's a lot of dog lovers. But the difference between dog lovers and cat lovers is the relationship that you have with the animal. A lot of people that like cats just like animals that are self-sufficient, take care of themselves. They wanna fool with the animal whenever they feel like it. And a cat's gonna do the same thing, fool with you when it feels like it. People that like dogs are very emotional about their animal. That's their, that's their baby, that's their son, et cetera. That's their daughter. Um, I know a lot of people that reference their dog and they get a new dog and their sister got one and oh I'm an uncle now etc so the relationship is a little bit stronger and a little bit different um, but you still want to target cats because cats shed bad so if, it, if we were doing a regular product like a toy like an animal toy granted you have cat toys and you have dog toys so it will be differentiated but in this case what you want to do is you want to focus on both to catch both niches because if you do that you can actually capitalize on all the animals that kind of need uh, a shedding material and the thing is that's going to make a cat audience very 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 beneficial in this instance is because people that have cats don't want hair all over the house so if this product can solve that need if you put that in the ad copy or you put that in the video using an explanation you really can make a lot of money if you do this right so let's come over here. We see we got a lot of stuff open. You see how much we've opened? And I've closed out a lot. So this is this is some good, this is good stuff. So let's look for cat magazines. Catster. See, I bet you catster is the same people that do dogster, but it's for cats. But I bet you that it's, it's gonna be here. Catster Magazine. Let's see if we get some good cat stuff. Pussington Post. See, that's probably the same company as Doggington Post. The Crazy Cat Man. The Perfect Feline Page. This is a really good one, people. This is something that you want to pay attention to. Make sure you're living and dying by your magazines. They have buyer's intent. If you want to make a lot of money, listen to me. Um, so you have Life with Cats, The Conscious Cat. These are personal blogs. Let's look for news and media. So we're gonna go Pussington Post. Let's see if they have that. Oh no, they don't. Yeah, that's kind of an aggressive title. That's probably why they don't have it. Um, the Conscious. The Conscious Cat. Am I spelling that right? No, yeah, it looks like I am. Life with Cats. So it's here, but let's dive into it. You always wanna check. Always be checking. Just like always be closing when you're doing ads, you wanna always be checking. So they don't have any ads running. They have a small audience, which is good because this means it's a small niche and the people that really like this page really like cats. When it's a million people on there, two million people, you can almost, it's a sure shot that there might be somebody with a cat, saw the little, saw the page going down their timeline and just liked it with no relationship. So that's the type of things you want to look out for and understand. And you'll get that the more and more you start running ads. But that's the purpose of how to start a business in 30 days in this, in this Facebook segment is that we want to be able to trim the fat and help you out with your learning curve. So you're not spinning your wheels trying to learn stuff that we can compact in a course for you. Um, so we have life with cats. That's one. Here we go. Life with cats, personal blog, comedy club, life with cats. Cats don't have owners. They have staff. You see, that's the kind of things that I was just talking about earlier, right? As opposed to a dog, it's dog lovers. How many times have you seen somebody walking down the street, walking their cat? I've never seen that. And if you have, they're probably in like some circus of some sort. Not to say that it's not a good audience because for this particular product, you're going to sell a lot of things to cat people because cats like to be brushed and people don't like hair in their carpets 
or their couches. Cats don't have on. This is probably a long title, so it's not going to be here. Mm -mm. See, cat and kitten. Cat and kittens. Let's see what we got. 400,000. Cats and kittens. Cats featured. Oh, yeah, look at these cats. Those are cute. 20,000 views. It's probably an ad. Cats and kittens. And what is this? Is this a blog? Let's see. Do they have a store? Let's see. We're coming from that. They don't have any ads running. What does it say? Cats and kittens are. Let's get rid of cats there. Live cats, cats and kittens. Look at all this cat stuff. This is so amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I might start a open up a pet store after this. This is a really, really, really good target segment. Now here's the thing. What you want to pay attention to in this stuff is see how see how tightly niched this stuff is. If you were doing like tech or phone chargers or something like that, granted you can make a lot of money and I have friends that have made a lot of money using stuff like that, but this is what you call a sub niche, right? You have a niche which is the pet category and your sub niche is gonna be animals that actually shed. We're gonna dive into that in a few. So let's think about the animals that shed the most. No, we're gonna, we're gonna scale that back. Dogs that shed the most. Akitas. Okay, let's see if we can ha pull up something about an Akita. Akita dog. Let's take this cat stuff off. Akita dog. Look at this. This is rich. This is rich. Akita dog. Here we go. Big East Akita Rescue. So we're going to go store our website. Akita dog. Let's go Big East. And you see the audience size for some of these is very small. Let's see what we got. Akita dog, 250,000. That's actually a good one. Akita World. So let's go back to our dogs that shed the most. Chow Chows. Chow. Chow Chow. Chow dog. Nope, they don't have anything related to chows. Let's think about, and that's the thing, we don't really have to do this for cats because all cats shed unless somebody has a, a sphinx cat or something like that. And um, we can always just exclude them. Uh, let's do Siberian Husky. I know a lot of people that have Huskies and I know they shed. Husky Magazine, let's see what we got. PetSmart, Wittitudes, Madly Odd, Bark, Husky Ranch. See all this psychotic zodiac signs? That's not going to do it for me. We're not doing that in there. That's just going to water down our audience. Um, mm, let's see. Let's. So you kind of get the gist of what we're doing here, right? So we're going to build out our stores a little bit, dog stores. And here's the thing I want you guys to understand, right? Um, if I was going to do this in the end, I would have at least 10 to 15 in each category. But for the sake of time, you get it. So we're going to go get a couple stores. Let's see if Heart Guard, right? We don't have Heart Guard as an interest. And sometimes instead of doing stores, do brands. Maybe even dog toy brands. Chewy, 1-800-PET-MED. Let's see. Top... 10 dog toys, pet smart, canine journal. You see, I was almost about to go and check on and see if canine journal was a popular magazine because as I said earlier, magazines are gonna be your bread and butter. Um, so let's look at these dog toys here. Kong, I know that might be one. Kong. Kong dog toy. Look, Pet Circle, all my dog. 
Yeah, we're going to go Kong here. K9 for Warriors, Second Chance Rescue Dogs, four K9s. Okay, cool. And so next, what we're going to actually dive into is the actual building of the ad campaign. So bear with us, and here we go. Woo! That was some amazing content. He really went in depth right there. And that's the type of content you can expect from how to start a business in 30 days. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Some of the stuff we're gonna be talking about in how to start a business 30 days will absolutely change your business. We're gonna be talking about how to create an ironclad business plan, how to get investors, how much money you need to get started, how to raise money for your business, how to create a cult-like following for your brand, how to tell an irresistible brand story, how to unlock the hidden motivators to persuade customers to buy, how to find the right target audience, how to build an unstoppable entrepreneur mindset, how to build a world-class team, how to train and manage your team, learn our million dollar Facebook blueprint that has grossed so much money. And not only that, unlock the secrets to Google advertising and online marketing. And just as a bonus, we're also throwing in how to get started in real estate in just 30 days. How to start a business in 30 days is content packed with everything you're going to need to get hit the ground running in the next 30 days. I want you to take this information and take it to heart and enjoy the rest of these preview videos.